Hey everyone, it's Matt and Eric here from Chaparral Motorsports. Today we're going to talk about the all-new 2016 Yamaha YXZ 1000R. Now it's said to be the biggest game changer in the side-by-side -side industry, so let's have a walk around. So Matt, people have been waiting a very long time for Yamaha to come out with a sports side-by-side, -side, and Yamaha's been hyping this thing for quite a bit, but I really think they delivered with the drivetrain they put in this machine. I think it's a total game changer, just like you said. I think it's going to make the competition stand up and take notice and really think about what they're doing. Now there are three models available, starting out with your SE. This is going to be your top package with an MSRP at $21,599. Now this package includes your painted plastics. That's that really sharp color that they came out with this year for the 60th anniversary. So you got the old school Yamaha yeah. yellow with the black and white speed stripe on the side. The one they've been putting on all their vehicles to celebrate the 60th. It's a really sharp color. Right. And then you also get your painted A-arms, true beadlock wheels, which they are real beadlocks, and you have color match seats. So then you move down to your middle package with an MSRP at $19,999. What comes included with this one is the Yamaha blue and white. Right, and that's the colors molded into the plastic, right. so it's not painted, but it still looks really sharp. Right. Subtle graphics, it looks great. Um, with that, you get your color match seats and your painted A-arms. Doesn't it, have beadlock wheels, though. No, no, no beadlock wheels, so you just keep that in mind. Um, but that's always something that you could upgrade later on down sure, the road. Sure, yeah. Um, and then you have your base level. This is your orange color. So this one, no beadlock wheels, no color match seats, no painted A-arms, and this is just your standard uh, color molded into the plastic. But so. the, the orange is a really sharp color. Yeah, I mean, it, it, looks it really stands out and it looks really good. Right. And with that base model price, it leaves a lot of room for upgrades, sure. which is really nice. Right. By the way, MSRP on that one is nineteen seven nine nine. A big question is, when are these things going to be available? Right. Well, the SE edition is going to come out first, and that's going to roll out around October. The other two models will be out November, December. So we're not that far off from actually seeing these things hit the showroom floor. Now that brings us right into the meat and potatoes of this segment, which is the key factors and what makes this thing move. Sure. It's 114 horsepower, 80 mile an hour top speed. Now how do we get there? Well, we start with the industry first 998cc inline three cylinder engine tied to a five-speed sequential shift manual transmission. You've got a 10,500 RPM, so that gives you plenty of room to play with all that horsepower, and that's what I really think is gonna be the game changer, is the ability to manage the horsepower and shift the gears when you want. According to Yamaha, that manual transmission helps deliver about 20% more horsepower to the rear wheels compared to the competition. Now with the automotive style hydraulic foot clutch, it's got a really smooth, easy action, so it's not too difficult to press and then you've got the sequential shifting, so it's just forward for reverse, and then you bang the gears back from there. So it's really easy to do the shifting. However, if you got someone that's never driven a manual shift or isn't too comfortable with it, there is a solution. Right, so Yamaha has a recluse clutch that can be installed as an option. So what this will basically do is turn the unit into semi-automatic to make it very easy for anyone to drive this thing. Now another big topic has been turbos. Can-Am has one, Polaris just came out with one. We don't know if Yamaha is going to come out with the turbo model, but we do know that MPI offers an aftermarket turbo kit for this model. Having all that power is great, and having the ability to control that power is even better. But if you don't have a good suspension setup, it's all pretty much useless. So that's why Yamaha chose the Fox Podium 2.5 RC2 piggyback shocks all the way around. Sure, these shocks are fully adjustable. You got high and low speed compression damping, spring preload adjustment, bottom out technology i mean these are superb shocks they're going to get you through everything really smoothly whatever train you're hitting you got 16 more than 16 inches of travel up front 17 inches of travel in the rear so we're talking a lot plenty of clearance and smooth ride now another unique thing about this side by side is that yamaha is using 27 inch tires compared to the competition which is using 29 inch tires so you may be thinking ground clearance is an issue but yamaha was able to get comparable ground clearance to the competition by using smaller tires and what that does is gives you a lower center of gravity so it helps with the balance, cornering, agility and the overall traction of the car. So it's actually pretty cool. Right, so having that lower center of gravity will really keep this thing planted when you come into corners at a little higher rate of speed. Now another big question a lot of people have been asking is, is there going to be a four-seater model? We don't know, we haven't been in discussion with Yamaha about that, but what we do know is that we've been getting a lot of attention with the two-seater that we have here, and people have been really enjoying it, and I think it's going to do really well on its own. And another thing that we want to talk about are the standard features that come included in the entire model range. So you do get the hard top, 
the side doors, which are pretty nice because they even have a little return spring on them, so the doors pretty much shut on their own. Right, it's a great safety feature because you just get that added benefit of knowing that the door is going to come in and shut and latch. Right. And another thing is you get the high back seats and side bolsters, which add another layer of protection between you and the frame of the car for when you're really coming into those hard corners. You also get that really nice steering wheel that provides a nice comfortable grip. You've got more than three inches of adjustment in the driver's seat and more than five inches of tilt adjustment in the steering column. And last but not least, Yamaha has come out with a full lineup of accessories for this unit here. So the one that we've been looking at is fully decked out with a lot of the genuine Yamaha accessories like the uh, winch and the bumper. Right, it's got the windshield which is pretty cool, it flips up and then you can secure it over the top mm -hmm. so it works if you're going to be traveling or if you want to get some adjustment on the bottom, you can prop it up. It's got some little like kickstand A little things. more airflow through yeah. the front end. And you can secure it that way as well. Right. Um, inside you've got SSV Audio Works Bluetooth audio system. So you've got two speakers in the front, two speakers in the rear. Very nice setup as well. Mm -hmm. You've also got the option of a rear cargo box along with the swing away rear tire mount and spare tire. Right, and I don't know if you noticed, inside that cargo box, there was an area to carry an mm -hmm. extra battery so that you could power all your additional accessories like that 27-inch light bar that was on there and the SSV audio that we've mentioned earlier. So it's pretty slick. Right. So there it is. That's our walk around on the new 2016 Yamaha YXZ1000R. For more info on this thing, you can visit us at shopmoto.com or if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment box. With that being said, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm Matt. I'm Eric. And we'll see you next time.